Hello. I'm here to talk the word of God. Yes. Nothing about me. No, but the one who gave the book, the Bible. I'm talking about now. It's not about me. I'm a sinner, of course. But listen to me because I'm a messenger presenting the word. So don't look at me. Look at the one who presented the word, God himself. Today, what language is this? Of course, this is a Zulu language of South Africa. It's not my language, but of course I know a bit of it. In other words, Libambe means hold on to. Lilanga, that's the sun. And Shona is to go down. So, Libambe, Lilanga, Linga shun. In other words, hold on to the sun. Don't let it go down. You know when the sun sets, we always say the sun has gone down. That's true. Now, in the Bible, the Creator Himself, the one who made the sun, the moon, and the stars, and the seas, and everything, He talks about the sun Himself. That's in the book of Ephesians 4, verse 26, which I'm going to read to you now. Where's your Bible? read with me as well. Ephesians 4 verse 26 here it says, Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your anger. So, be angry yes, but don't be so angry to the point that the sun goes down while you're still angry. Don't forget, as according to the Bible, Genesis 1 verse 5 and verse 8 and the other verses following, the day starts at sunset. Remember when we talked about the Sabbath, when it starts? The Sabbath starts Friday evening when the sun goes down. Every day as well, it starts as the sun goes down the day before. In the evening, that's when the sun, that's when the day starts. So, don't confuse. Here, the Bible is saying, be angry, but do not let the sun go down on your anger. In other words, don't go the next day. Yes? Be angry, yes. Emotions of anger, happiness, negative emotions, positive emotions, they're all there. We all, you know, encounter them in our lives. And that's what it is. We can cry, that's an emotion, and we can be happy, an emotion, we can be angry, that's an emotion, all sorts. But then we must control our anger. If we cannot control our anger, we must ask ourselves, it's not us controlling, we must ask God to control our anger. That's very important. I'm going to read to you the book of Galatians 5. Galatians 5, um, I'll read to you from uh, verse 20, uh, verse 22. It says here, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, that's the first one, and then joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, Against such there is no law. Temperance, self-control. Can you self-control? Of course, as people, we are supposed to self-control. Jesus Christ himself, uh, in the book of um, Matthew chapter 27, he said it quickly. He said, when somebody, maybe I should read it rather, because if we read, then we know what we are talking about. I'll read, first of all, uh, Matthew 5, verse 39. I think that's the first one I should read. And then we can read the other one afterwards, of course. Uh, Matthew 5, verse 39. Uh, it says here, But I say unto you, that you resist the devil, but whatsoever shall smite you on the right cheek, turn to him the other cheek also. That's what Jesus is saying here. 
in the Bible. He says, whoever hits you on one cheek, tend the other one to hit you as well. Why? So that you don't fight. Because if somebody hits you there, many people will say, oh, I'll hit you back. Revenge. Of course. But Jesus Christ is telling us not to do that. Everybody does that, but you have to be different. Because you are different. You belong to somebody else. So, they hit you one cheek, turn the other one. If they tell you to carry something one mile or one kilometer, carry two kilometers or two miles. In other words, you shame them. If somebody hits you there, don't fight back. It might be painful for now, but it will yield you some peace and it will save you from a fight. In other words, don't forget, I've heard that don't argue with a fool, or rather, don't fight with a fool. I'm going to use that word for now, of course. Why? Because if you argue with such a person, people will know no difference. They will think both of you are fools, <laughs> if I can use that word, yeah? So, the best you can do is resist it, to say, I'm not going to be a part of it. Even when somebody wants to fight, you say, I'm not going to be a part of it. So, don't be a part of a sin life or whatever somebody wants them themselves to be most of the times we go on to the point of accusing the one who has caused us to sin Jesus Christ himself you remember in the book of Matthew 27 verse 12 that's the next verse which I actually had said earlier Matthew 27 uh, verse 12 uh, I'm gonna read it to you now it says and when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. That's Jesus Christ. Uh, and of course, verse 13 says, Then said Pilate unto him, Do you hear what these people, these witnesses are saying? And verse 14 now, Jesus Christ. And he answered, to, he answered him to never a word, in so much as the governor marveled greatly. So Jesus Christ said no word. He closed his mouth. Can you do the same? If you do the same, you're going to shame the devil. Don't go into fights. In other words, if somebody has wronged you, don't carry that grudge to the next day. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. And same time people we tend to accuse others you started this and I'm doing it that's why I fought back no we have to be different sometimes you say I went to sleep with that woman because she was wearing a short skirt that's her fashion it wasn't her it was you some people say I did this because he told me to he gave me the money that's why I did this I killed this person or I slept with him, or I went to steal with him because they gave me the money. No, you don't have to do things, but you have to have what you call self-control and ask God to give you that self-control. Sometimes you can say, he led me to do this sin. He told me to go and sleep with this other person. But the final decision was yours. It wasn't them forcing you, no. Sometimes you work for a company and you say, well, they gave me low wages. Let me take something from this company because they don't pay me well. Well, that's your decision. That's something going against God. You don't have to. Why did you steal this food? Because I had none at home. Well, that's your decision. But you were supposed to have worked yourself. Why did I, uh, why did I go into this sin? It's because of that. We always accuse, just like uh, in the Bible, in the book of Genesis chapter 3. Adam, Eve, and the snake. Adam, when he was asked by God, he says, why did you do this? He said, it's the wife whom you gave me. He didn't say, it's me, I'm sorry, Lord, forgive me. No, he says, it's the wife whom you gave me, Lord. And then when you go to Eve, she said, it's not me, it's the snake. 
she didn't accept it her problems because she accepted she listened to the snake and that's what we do even these days in this world we don't accept responsibility but when we are angry we mustn't let the sun go down on our anger we must go to God very quickly and say God forgive me and God will definitely forgive you because he's righteous we'll talk more about this let, don't let the sun go down on your anger. Alright?